But hey, we've got uh, some more calls on the line. Why don't we go to John in Florida? He's got a, um, a question specifically for you, Helen. Oh, uh, John, are you here? <laughs> yeah. Hi. How are you guys doing? Hi. You're um, doing great. Hi, Helen. It's John. Hi, honey. Um, How are you? <laughs> I'm doing well. I, you know, all the times we've talked, um, you've never told me what flavor of witchcraft you were involved with. You were a high priestess of, rather. I know we go through several phases. Um, most of us have gone through several different types, but and then we end up in our senior lives being one or the other. So I was just wondering what you were, because you've never told me that. I started out studying Wicca, and then I ended up as an eclectic high priestess because um, Wicca was a little too um, ruly, like rules thing for me. And like being a part of the Catholic tradition, I was just like, listen, I'm like, I had enough of rules. And then because like, <laughs> though my husband will say that you took one set of silly rules and replaced it for another set of silly rules. But I, but which is true. <laughs> if you're, pro if you're following like Guilty a structure, which, discharged, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I, but then when I moved, I moved on to an eclectic form of witchcraft, which is basically, um, a uh, kind of a combination of like chaos. Ma okay. For all of you in the pagan community, you know exactly what I'm talking about for you. Um, you know, uh, not you muggles. <laughs> you have no idea what I'm talking about, but like chaos magic and like um, high ritual magic, mm -hmm. OTO magic, all these different sort of things. We, I did a hodgepodge of different things um, because I am, I have ADHD one and two, <laughs> Like I like to experience as many things as possible. And I think also at the time I was trying to seek out, like, I, I don't, I recognize this now, but I think I was seeking out like a, some kind of truth between like all these different forms of magic. Like, you know how like people would church shop and they mm -hmm. try different religions. I think at the time I was trying to find like the real true form of magic. There must be like this, you know, secret sauce to the universe that I must figure out, you know, like the secret to the crabby magic patty, you know, and it, yeah. it it's yeah. not, and that, I think that's what I was doing, uh, but I was justifying it in my brain as like, I just want to learn as much stuff as possible because, you know, it's all under the same umbrella. But when I analyze myself and look back at myself at that time, I think I was trying to for the find key. Yeah, I was. I was. Yeah, the magic key to get to take to take me to, to um, Narnia or something, or you know, take me to Middle Earth. That's what I was looking yeah, for. I, you know, <laughs> it didn't exist. I found you also know? that, uh, that uh, not in necessarily in my own journey, but uh, I found that people generally are looking for, and then uh, a lot of these systems or traditions, um, they say, "Oh, well, you didn't." you didn't do that ritual exactly right. Like you lit the candle three seconds after you moved Wittershins to that station, you know, and so you, you did it wrong. That's why it doesn't happen. Right. And so they always have some sort of ritual reason why what you're trying to do doesn't work when the real answer is it just doesn't work, you know? So, but you know, have you, have you experienced that where people just, uh, we did, but our always, I our also got involved through a shop. So, yeah. But our excuse was that um, Discordia Eros was getting involved and intended for things to go wrong. So we would justify <laughs> it that it was supposed to happen because Discordia came in and decided that we needed to do things a different way. Because And that was our way for uh, us to justify screwing things up. So it was meant to happen because Discordia wanted it to happen. <laughs> Is this like a deity? Discordia? It's a deity, a yes. Ghost? Yeah, Eris, uh, Eris, um, the goddess of disorder. Yep, there you go. Kelly's getting excited. <laughs> she is, she is a goddess, and 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 uh, I think the Roman tradition or Greek tradition. I don't know. It's some, it's some, but she is a real goddess, and she was so she would be like the coyote in like Native American culture. Um, these mm -hmm. trickster gods that will that throw chaos into our lives. Okay, so and, and do people like worship? Oh yeah, they Thank worship. God. Yep, there's Goddess? cults oh, yeah. and Discordia. people that worship. Wow. 
Yeah, yeah. There, that's why we know so much about her is because, and a lot of mythologies have some kind of the, like Loki in the Norse tradition. Mm -hmm. um, there are these gods and figures that will come in and cause chaos into lives because you're supposed to learn a lesson. Because life is about learning lessons and discordia is teaching you a lesson that like maybe you don't know need to do things so damn organized and let some chaos into your life. And that's how <laughs> we would justify it. So that's what we did, John. Like we would justify it that way. Yep. So this and also that's like we, we didn't take it 100 percent seriously all the time. Like we wanted we did ritual because we wanted to celebrate a Sabbath and have a good time. And sometimes we did get very solemn. But I, I remember the times that we did get solemn, those mistakes didn't happen as much. Or if they did, we would kind of, we would try to redirect it. Like if you're, let's say you're conducting a play and somebody fumbles a line, you just ignore it and move on. That's what we would do. We'd be like, okay, you fumbled. Let's just move on because, you know, we don't want to interrupt the flow. And I think it's the same kind of thing because like ritual is all performance. It is because everybody likes drama. I like dressing up in crazy costumes and performing things. So I don't <laughs> think that, you know, so, you know, it's kind of the same idea, especially with your friends. Your friends don't, aren't going to judge you in a way that like if I was doing this at a public ritual. I remember, though, I went to an OTO ritual. Which is What's like OTO? Uh, OTO is like uh -huh. uh, uh, it is. um based on the golden dawn i can't remember the exact meaning of oto uh, do you remember john uh, something orientalist the, uh, i can't remember the uh okay if you know who alistair crowley is you know what i'm talking about <laughs> so yeah. but like yeah it is basically a high ritualized music based on like a lot of age old egyptian stuff of philosophy but it's very high magic and they take their shit very seriously <laughs> it is like we went to a yeah. public ritual and i was like this is not my vibe like it was i felt like i was in church and i'm just like this is not my vibe and they take it very very seriously and that's just ordo temple um orientis thank you kelly in mm. the chat thank for you. reminding me of what that is so yeah it is a very high ritualized magic and it is very culty if you look into the history of it very interesting. Hmm. I do recommend if you're into cults to look that stuff up, but it's very high ritualized magic. And it is where we were more the discording and things. The OTO is on mm -hmm. the opposite end of the spectrum. And I, we were some, I think we we're a little bit in the middle more to the discording and end of um, how we did ritual for sure. No, okay. I, I, I'm that still super like uh, my question. Go, go ahead. Uh, I'm sorry. Well, I'm still super interested. I was actually wondering, like, do you guys have a, a neat, accessible documentary that you recommend for people who are interested in learning more about this sort oh, of thing? There just is a documentary eh? that actually one of my friends was on was in. <laughs> now I have Google to look it up. In progress. John, do you have any recommendations? Do you know? You uh -huh. sound like you know something. Sound like you know some stuff. Well, yeah, I, I'm 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 getting a little old, MD. I've forgotten a lot, but uh, yeah. um, that's what I, happens, man. You know, <laughs> something for, of a compendium um, or a uh, an overview documentary. I'm trying to think if I ever really saw one that was decent, um, and I can't think of one. Uh, like I don't want to. I don't want to go into one of those like History Channel, you know. No. fake document no. mockumentary no. situations you know dude okay yeah, like yeah. md okay dude i'm gonna have to look it up because there was right. a really good one it was actually on netflix so so ago. look one up and i will and, send it to uh, you everyone hell Hel no helen's gonna put it in uh in the comments below this video I will. i'm gonna do for, it for I, everyone to check out yeah oh that's there, great um great. Th thanks very much john <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Um, I'll, I'll let you go because you need to get to another caller. So thanks a lot and great to talk with you, Helen. And MD, right. you are amazing. So that's all I'll say about that. So goodbye. <laughs> all right. Bye, thanks John. I'll so. talk to you later, sweetheart. Uh, that, uh, that was great. Like, uh, um, this is really interesting. It, um, I'm so it, glad it, that it, we it's had an interesting this. Uh, hole. this I was <laughs> yeah. Could chase this all night, I tell you. 
I know it's um, one of those things, but I, like I will look up the documentary because there was there was actually a okay, like it's gonna have a little bit of its like um, cheesiness, but it it it's more of an, anal, an, an, an uh, analysis of modern witchcraft between like um, going from paganism to the OTO and how all these different these different practices have infiltrated the culture. Um, mm. because witchcraft is one of the fastest growing religions in um, Western culture. So, and, and, and uh, cause people, because people are replacing modern, like old religions with this new spiritual practice, which comes into mm. witchcraft and new agey beliefs and yeah. all, all the woo. So yeah, we've all seen that. Yeah. We all seen it. Yeah. Cause everybody's looking for a guru. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, 